Somebody lift your hands. I want to prophesy over the two new south right now. And then our pastor is coming. And Kitundu, and, and Kenya, and the whole world needs to become a better place to live for everybody because I was here. Somebody give the Lord a praise right now. Shout, yes, I receive it. Praise the Lord, lift your hands. I prophesy that violence will not be in your land. And I prophesy by the Spirit of the Lord, not Thomas, but Jehovah, speaking now, to him be all the glory, to him alone be all the praise, never to man, always honor to God. I prophesy, I prophesy that law enforcement will be able to control. There will be a miracle in law enforcement here. And people that are committing murders, people that are terrorizing people, they will be caught and they will be prosecuted and that nonsense will be stopped in Jesus name stand up on your feet and shout one time and give God some praise All the senior police commanders in Gatundu area of Kiambu have been moved in an ongoing security overhaul in the area aimed at steaming, stemming the rising cases of insecurity. So Kiambu County Commissioner Wilson Wanyanga confirmed that Gatundu South Deputy Commissioner, Sub-County Commander, OCPD and the DCIO have all been transferred and replaced by a new team of officers who are expected to combat the marauding gangs terrorizing residents in the area. So the transfers come after Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi visited the area alongside Police Inspector General Hilary Mutiambai promising major changes within the service. So far, five people believed to be part of the gangs terrorizing residents there have been arrested. We are reorganizing our security and national government administration in Kiambu with immediate effect. We have reorganized our police deployment uh, here to address some of the uh, challenges that we have seen. We will do our work. I, I have come here to promise you we will do our work. That's what we are paid to do. We will do our work. We are responsible public servants. We will do our work. And I've told all my colleagues in the security teams in this place, it is our job to be awake at night so that we are not sleep. It is our job to remain awake at night and move around these villages and so on so that we are not sleep. And whatever it is going to take, IG and myself and all our colleagues are going to pay special attention to what is happening around here. Lord, I speak fire on the Katoombe region. Thank you, Lord, for our visit there to the president's home. The first home of the first president. Official residence of Umu Kenyatta now. It's from his dad. Jomo Kenyatta, the first president. Thank you, Lord, for uh, something great happening in this region. No, no devil can stop progress for this land. We thank you, Lord, for progress, progression, development, and uplifting of the people. Something that's never happened before. Let it begin today, September 30th. September 29th, whatever it is, 2019, Sunday, begins a new season for this entire region and the Campbell County and all of the towns and provinces in it, including Kitchen New South here. Let your favor and your blessing touch the people here. Thank you for a new day, a new beginning, 
May every evil force be broken in Jesus' name, chained and bound and destroyed. That they can do nothing and that people will have the testimony here in this land that I'm only blessed. I'm only blessed. There's no devil that can trouble me. There's no devil that can stop my progress. And I, I speak the fire of your prosperity that's going to come upon this land and upon the people. Thank you for the engagement of heaven upon earth that people will be blessed beyond their initial thought or imagination. Because that is what you have in your mind. We're passing the beautiful Bougainvillea covered hedges and the coffee plantations here and the corn. Uh, which looks pretty dry right now, but thank you, Lord, for the wealth treasure that's in this land, especially in the, in the midst of the people. 